Here in this Tobacco University video, I'll be going over some general fertilizer considerations that apply to really any fertilizer you might be adding to your plants. All right, let's go over some general fertilizer considerations for cannabis production. So first off, we want to consider the general fertilizer ratio and the dilution. So as a general guide, two to one to two, which is the N phosphorus, uh, sorry, the nitrogen phosphorus potassium ratio is often considered to be the standard for cannabis. And that could be a two, one, two, or a 20, 10, 20, or a whole other host of potential nutrients there. It could be a 10, 5, 10 as well. Regarding concentrations, uh, manufacturer's recommendations should provide a good starting point and use those as kind of maximums. You can go a little bit lower than that and then see how your plants respond and your, work your way up to that. They say don't want to go much higher than the general recommendations by the manufacturer because that could lead to other issues with your plants. Then that fertilizer concentration check. Once you go through and do the math and dilute it out, in general, an EC or parts per million meter can be used to check the concentrations of nutrient solution. It's a good to kind of have this secondary device. Electronic uh, connectivity or EC or parts per million PPM meters measure the salts in the water. For example, uh, tap water could have a 0.4 or about 200 parts per million um, ratio. The nutrient solution example should be 1.3 or around 650 parts per million. Again, just to give you an idea of how concentrated your actual nutrient solution is. Because if it's too concentrated, that could cause issues to the plants, could cause some unnecessary stress to the plants, um, depending on the stage of growth. For example, if you're talking early on clones or seedlings, uh, we want to be really mindful of that, continually monitoring that, so you don't risk damaging that entire crop. And then using the meter. So when we're going through and using uh, whatever chosen manufacturer meter we use, the goal is to measure the water being given to the plants and is also what is coming out of the container or substrate. This will help growers dial in their feeding concentrations so they can maximize plant production while limiting nutrients uh, lost or wasted. Meaning if you know X amount is going into the plants and then you have your container and you measure what's kind of coming out at the bottom, you can have an idea of what you may or may not be over fertilizing with. If you've got a lot coming in and a lot coming out, well, you might want to reduce the amount that goes in to try to allow plants a chance to uptake those nutrients to be utilized instead of being flushed through and wasted. That's a great way using that meter of both your irrigation water as well as your pour through water to get an idea to better dial in your particular growing situation to maximize plant efficiency while minimizing uh, losses that could contaminate the environment and incur unneeded expenses.